Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Did I say that? <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's pull your overarching energy or message Scorpio for the month, April 2021. What do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. April 2021. Message for Scorpio, please. Overarching energy for Scorpio, please, angels. Thank you. Is it coming out? No, it didn't want to fall out, so let's carry on. Okay, thank you. Oh, wow. The Emperor, generally a card of Aries, but you know, I always see Scorpio with Mars as well as Pluto. So there's definitely an energy here of, of this being you too, Scorpio. Okay. Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. Yeah, there's something better. Yeah, something better. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards, roughly works out as one card per week. Though divine timing and all that, the energies and messages may well overlap. And we will clarify as we always do and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Scorpio, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, one more shuffle. I always like the first card to fall out, as you know. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. That flew out reversed. King of Wands. Justice. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Love that, the Six of Wands, okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message, starting with this King of Wands reversed. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. Message for Scorpio, thank you. What is the message for Scorpio? Okay, so yeah, I've got the five of wands here, Scorpio. Hmm. The justice card, we have the four of wands. Knight of pentacles, we have the sun. The Ace of Wands, wow, with the Six of Wands is beautiful. Three of Swords, bottom of the deck. I'm going to clarify this Emperor. Let's clarify this Emperor for Scorpio, please. Let's clarify this Emperor for Scorpio. Thank you, the Moon. I'm going to clarify this Four of Wands. Let's clarify this Four of Wands. Okay, so I've got the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Scorpio, um, the Emperor is somebody who takes control, is in their power. You could be dealing with an Emperor. The Moon energy is a card of... Uh, 
It's a card of still waters run deep, can be a card of deception, you know. Um, or not being what it seems to be. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody in authority. But I'm definitely getting this energy here as well of there is also an opportunity for you to take back your power because it definitely feels in this energy hidden blessings are at work. Even though, he, and I'm saying that because I've got the moon and the sun here. So everything will become clear. Everything will become clear. That feels quite clear. That feels quite resonating. Everything will become clear to you. And I definitely feel with this emperor, this is about you surrendering, trusting your power, your resolve, your initiative, your capability to empire build. He is the empire builder. He is somebody who takes charge, takes control. He doesn't allow things to control him. Remember, the emperor shapes his world and his life. The world doesn't shape him. So it might well be for some something that may have affected you for a period of time. This is you taking control of it. And there may well be an energy of the way something is working out is restoring you back in your power this month, um, back in control. And it feels like there's karma at work. I have to say there is some karma here. Um, everything will become clear and I'm definitely getting there is divine energy, things going on behind the scenes. And it's universal energy. It's universal energy. So there is something better. And that's what you're being told. A feeling of you being restored in your power on a, on, on a personal level, even though you don't see how something is going to unfold, this is about staying in your power. Um, keep taking that initiative. Stay in control. You know, don't let something control you. Because there's definitely a feeling here, Scorpio. I'm feeling it feels more to do with money career business here and I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody male or female energy that you've dealt with there it feels like there's been some injustice some conflict or disagreement with somebody in business career finances and it doesn't feel they acted fairly because there's karma around this energy there's karma around this reading so there's a universal acknowledgement that something wasn't fair or wasn't right. You know, it feels like you dealt with some kind of poor leader. Uh, this can be somebody who didn't use their power wisely. Um, lack of responsibility. It might well be you went over their head and spoke to somebody to take charge of a situation as well because it definitely feels like there was some struggle to work with them. And that's what I'm feeling here. You know, justice is actions have consequences. It's also a card of reap what you sow, balance will be restored. Justice is interested in truth, impartial truth. Um, it's not gilded in any way, you know, or leveraged. It is just the truth of a situation. So there's definitely an energy. I mean, this can also be to do with legal situations, government institutions. Um, if you've complained to a legal body or arbitration or uh, settlements or, you know, tribunals. I mean, you kind of get what I'm saying as well. This can be to do with that too. Because if it, justice generally appears sometimes when justice is needed, when there has been some unfairness or injustice. So I'm definitely getting this energy here of justice was need. I mean, it, there's also karmic justice here. Wrongs will be righted. Balance will be restored by the universe. Because 
what this meant, it meant you, you being very careful with money in terms of your home, your family, protecting your property, your home, your family, relationships, the, the practical, physical affordability of day-to-day -day living. There's definitely this energy of being very, very careful with money. But we also have a celebratory energy here. So I feel for some of you that you might have been challenged in terms of money, career, finances. It feels like some kind of poor leader. And I definitely feel for some of you, you might have gone over their head and complained about them. And whatever panned out, there could have been something. Something happened here where a wrong needs to be righted. Balance needs to be restored. Truth will out. Because it's left you feeling, it feels in this instance, being careful with money. Or needing to be careful with money. Needing to be conservative uh, with spending and, and being careful with, you know, bills and everything else. So I definitely get this energy of there has been some fallout here. But the eye of the universe, karma, is at play here. And it says it's gonna, you're going to get the reward. I feel in this situation, Scorpio, this wasn't your fault. And if there has been some cover-up, it's going to come to light, you know, because there's definitely an energy of the sun is shining on you. Things are going to become clear. Divine orchestration, um, the moon energy, things going on behind the scenes, the universe lining up some karmic reward for you in the form of an offer or an opportunity. The Knight of Pentacles, it can be a job offer, it can be to do with to do with a financial offer it can be to do with maybe money coming towards you from some kind of settlement as well um this could be the karmic reward that you're looking for that things have come to light and this allows you to put the obstacle behind you that you have had, you've had to deal with and just step into your light once more and put it behind you feeling pretty good i mean this is a card of success as well but it can be in terms of offers opportunities the knight of pentacles that brings solid change um it could even be linked to some kind of change of occupation here or change of industry you know i mean there's levels to these cards um but the night it can be clients can be to do with new business um but definitely in this energy, there is some material reward coming your way or material offer being made. And you are feeling good. You know, this is the third week. So this is a feel good energy, feeling the warmth, vitality. There's growth. This is good news, success, celebration, joy. So what this is bringing in is some level of celebration, happiness, sunshine into your life. You know, having gone through a challenging time and I'm feeling this is spilling over from March maybe for some of you because it starts right at the beginning this struggle of, of, of April um, so you know there's definitely an energy when the sun appears everything's going to be okay everything comes to light everything becomes clear this is a sign of success real success abundance um, so very beautiful energy there Scorpio Three of Swords, the hurt, the emotional pain is finally put behind you. And again, this can be about truth. This can also be a card of truth. Truth. Um, truth that caused pain may be coming to light here, but you're claiming a victory. There is a completion energy. I can see that with the little wreath which is like a circle for me i'm looking at that it definitely feels it's taken a lot of strength and courage um but you are overcoming the challenge and claiming a significant achievement and victory and this is a card of success the the ones is all about success being in your power growth vitality feeling pretty good about it so third to fourth week this is a feel-good energy feeling in your power, feeling reconnected to who you are. 
Um, and again, this Ace of Wands is ready to take action towards a new door, new opportunity. So this can be a business opportunity, career opportunity, job opportunity. It could be linked with what this Knight of Pentacles represented. It could be if this was a some kind of monetary award as a result of this, for example, this could be some kind of new job opportunity coming your way or you taking action towards a new business opportunity if you're changing careers. You know, it's all that kind of energy. The Ace of Wands is something absolutely connected to our heart and soul. It can be opportunity, but it can be us taking action towards a new beginning, um, something that inspires us, something that connects to our heart and soul, something that has the potential to grow into a castle a sign of real success should you take action towards it. So it feels for some of you that you are breaking free, releasing from a test that has hurt you deeply, claiming some kind of victory and taking action towards a new opportunity or new beginning that is exciting, you know, that is electric, that lights you up. Um, you know, I sometimes say with the Ace of Wands, you know, it can be something like a hobby or a passion um, that you decide to just put into practice or something that you've been trained towards, you decide to give it a go. But yeah, it can be in terms of job opportunities, business opportunities as well. Um, so it feels very, very beautiful. And I feel that this is, that's there something better because there is. I definitely feel you've been let down, but this is an energy of you are taking back your power here. Now, if you have complained to somebody and you went over somebody's head, there is a chance in this reading, and I'm going to say it because it might apply to some of you, that the head person is illuminated and may offer you some kind of different opportunity as a result of your treatment. So that could be some kind of energy as well that, you know, if something comes to light, if you are dealing with somebody who is really an authority, who is someone's boss, boss's boss, or your boss's boss, for example, they could be offering you some kind of opportunity. So for some of you, that might resonate with you as well, Scorpio. But nevertheless, some exciting, wonderful. It holds such potential, the Ace of Wands. New beginning is coming your way. And there is a significant achievement here. So it absolutely feels very beautiful. I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Scorpio, please. Final message for Scorpio. Final message for Scorpio, please. Final message for Scorpio, please. Final message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Yeah, you see, balance, panda balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. I definitely feel for some of you, you're getting the balance back. Um, oh yeah, you know, that's true. That's true. I'm seeing that now. 11-11. 11-11, justice, karma. You're being washed over, guided by people from the other side. It's a lovely energy, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.